What's up, sir, players? It's your homie, C-Rod, and in today's video, I'm gonna give you 10 leaders that we need to have in Dragon Ball Super Card Game. I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with the Dragon Ball franchise. It's one of the most iconic anime and mangas of all time and changed the lives of many. So, I am glad to tell you that now we have an actual card game based on the Dragon Ball franchise and it's called a Dragon Ball Super Card Game and it's a very, very popular game. And today we're going to particularly talk about 10 characters that are not represented in Dragon Ball Super Card Game and actually have a huge presence in the anime. With a few anime series in Dragon Ball, including Dragon Ball Z, GT, Super, Heroes, there's been a bunch of great characters that have came about, but there's some underrepresentation of certain characters that are fan favorites in Dragon Ball Super Card Game, so I'm gonna be giving you guys the 10 characters that I feel deserve a leader role in Dragon Ball Super Card Game. First up, we got Whis. Whis definitely deserves a leader role in Dragon Ball Super Card Game. Not only is he a fan favorite and one of the main characters in Dragon Ball Super, he is also Beerus' attendant slash teacher who took Goku and Vegeta under his wings as his martial arts students. Not much is known about the origin of Whis, but we do know that he is more powerful than Beerus the God of Destruction explained by obviously the god hierarchy he has a sister Vados that is stated to be stronger than him but i don't think that justifies why we actually have a Vados leader and we don't have a weiss leader just yet if we were to get a weiss leader i know bandai would definitely make a lot of dragon ball super fans happy Next up on the list happens to be Gogeta, but not just regular Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is a fan favorite in Dragon Ball GT, where Goku and Vegeta both face off against Omega Shenron. With the fusion dance, they successfully created the powerful Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I know for a fact that we already have a variety of different Dragon Ball GT characters like Pan, Baby and Goku, so I wouldn't see why not to add Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is very overpowered in the anime, and I would love to see his behavior in the card game. Another leader card that I would love to come out would have to be Chi Chi, and bear with me when I say this, but Chi Chi is the princess of the Fire Mountain and the daughter of the Ox King, and she is also married to Goku and becomes the mother of Gohan and Goten. She is a very powerful woman in the anime, and I think she deserves a leader role in Dragon Ball Super Card Game. She, in the beginning, is shown as a very shy type a girl but then as the anime continues she becomes very fierce with a strong personality and very angry outburst that's seen several times throughout the series despite this i definitely feel like chi chi should have a role in dragon ball super card game Next up on the list happens to be King Kai. King Kai is a fan favorite of many because of his appearance in Dragon Ball and King Kai's strong sense of humor in the anime could translate in the card game as well. He is a fan favorite, he possesses great intelligence and knowledge about the universe and perhaps could have a very huge role in Dragon Ball Super Card Games when it comes to the god archetypes. Dragon Ball Super Card Game is a game that does feature a lot of gods, so perhaps King Kai could be the leader for that little engine and that specific type of trait. Next up on the list happens to be Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I know many of you guys would agree that Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta definitely needs its own leader card. Thanks to Bulma's Blood's Wave Cannon, Vegeta transforms into the Great Ape and then he transforms into the almighty Super Saiyan 4 form. Perhaps in the card game, with the leader card being Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, they could create a game mechanic where you actually use Bulma's Blood's Wave Generator to transform form Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta into the beast that he is. Another leader that should be coming around in Dragon Ball Super Card Game should be Topo. 
Topo is literally the second most powerful mortal within Universe 11 and he is a candidate of the God of Destruction for that universe. He is a very powerful character and in the card game he should be just as powerful. Universe 11 has lately not gotten as much support when it comes to Dragon Ball Super card game and they're not even relevant in the meta but maybe with a leader as Topo with a God of Destruction key perhaps Dragon Ball Super card game could develop a leader that's actually well rounded for Universe 11. This character right here would actually be a very funny character to have as a leader in Dragon Ball Super Card Game and I think it would be very viable to actually make Jocko as a leader in Dragon Ball Super Card Game. Jocko is a huge part of the anime and I think he should be a huge part in Dragon Ball Super Card Game. Jocko in the card game, he ramps up like cards such as Objection and things of that nature so perhaps we could have a Jocko leader that is heavily based on ramping up your energy and playing big Goku battle cards to help aid the leader Jocko. TN deserves a spot as a leader. If his buddy pal Yamcha managed to get a leader, I feel TN should also get his own leader. And Tian Shenhan is a fan favorite in the anime. Tian Shenhan is a tall and very muscular ball headed man, and his by far most prominent feature is his third eye which is not an inception of Illuminati but it is a you know what makes Tien Tien and maybe perhaps he could be a searcher leader because he does have access to the third eye he could potentially search out earthling cards to overcome your opponent and you know Tien is cool <laughs> I think so so for this reason I'm giving Tien PyCon definitely deserves a leader spot in Dragon Ball Super Card Game. Without a doubt, I'm 100% sure, and many of you guys would agree that PyCon is a very powerful character and would be a very powerful leader in Dragon Ball Super Card Game if they make the leader actually viable. He is a part of the other world with his first appearance in the other world tournament. He does not appear in the original Dragon Ball series. He's pretty much a substitute for Piccolo in terms of appearance and role when he did have his appearance in Dragon Ball Z Fusion Reborn. PyCon for a fact would be an amazing leader, could potentially be revolving around the other world and the other world tournament which would be an amazing deck to actually play. Now the last leader I would like to see in Dragon Ball Super Card Game would be Cumber, the evil saiyan from Dragon Ball Heroes. Cumber is a very powerful character in Dragon Ball Heroes. He is the antagonist, otherwise known as the evil villain that completely wrecks all the saiyans in Dragon Ball Heroes. And if we could have a deck revolving around Cumber and the, you know, Dragon Ball Heroes the whole entire saga, that would be amazing. The Dragon Ball Heroes series has so much fan service that having a deck revolving around Dragon Ball Heroes would be a very very good service to the community in my opinion and Cumber should represent the leader. Those are going to be my 10 picks of characters I would love to see be converted into leaders in Dragon Ball Super Card Game. If you guys are still watching, can you guys hit a good like on this video to show me you guys would love more of these type of videos. Subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and you are still watching. And make sure you guys hit me up in the comment section below what character you guys would like to see as a leader. And without further ado, Y'all already know, y'all stay super.